Okay, let's get to our show, Week of Love, day two. Okay. Here's a bold question for you. Is this love? And when your name includes the word love, I'm assuming you know a thing or two about it. Our first guest got her start in 2003 doing comedy on Star Search, and then went on to be a successful comedian, actress, author, co-host of The Real, but it is her heart that is funny and sweet and personable. The moments that she shares with her fans and followers about her own love life have us just all in Lonnie Love's business. Please welcome to the Tam Fam, my friend, Emmy Award winning, two-time NAACP Image Award winner, Lonnie Love! Thank you to your people because they were out there in that snow. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, listen, I, I came into work this morning <laughs> reluctantly. <laughs> And I was like, there will be no one at the Tamron Hall show. There's snow. I'm telling you, this is an inappropriate weather outfit I have on. Don't let this miniskirt fool you. It's brick out there. They were out there for you. They were for in line. You. They were ready. For they you. were ready for you. For you. I, I saw a video of you on the plane. I was worried your flight would get canceled. No. And who were those babies around? There was a flight. You're on the flight, and I saw two little kids. Who Girl, were... I was in daycare on the first class. <laughs> Thank you, Tamron Hall Show, okay? <laughs> it flew me first class, and usually first class, they don't have any children. Right. But for some reason, I had two children, one in the front, one in the back, and I became Auntie Lonnie all over again, <laughs> so, hey. I swear, I was looking at the video, and I said, I know she's bringing Jane, <laughs> but who are these babies on the flight with them? They were there, so, but thank you for having of me. Course. And congratulations on everything that you're doing, sister. Oh, sis. thank you, thank you. Um, I do, I, you're doing so much, including helping HBCU students yes. with the film festival. In November, you hosted the inaugural HBCU First Look <laughs> Film Festival. Um, the Obamas were among, you got the Obamas to come out of wherever they live now <laughs> to support. Mm -hmm. um, and now you have a second film festival. People are submitting. What are you looking for in the film festival? First of all, I want to thank you because this is an exclusive oh. for you allowing me to be the first one to say our second HBCU First Look Film Festival. The submissions are open today oh. because of the Tamron Hall Show. So, so it's open today. It's opening today. We were waiting just for you, oh, just to announce you. it on your show. And this is so important because HBCU filmmakers don't get the exposure as other yeah. filmmakers. So we wanted something very, very special. Our founder, Sheila Eldridge, developed this. And our first one was last November. Like you said, we had the Obama's come and they presented their movie, Rustin Coleman Domingo, my Award friend. Award winning PK. film. Um, Oscar nominated. For, uh, I mean, Oscar nominated yeah. Darius Coleman, but this is for HBCU filmmakers. Right. We accept anyone. We had 125 submissions last season. Wow. So this season is, we just want to find the next great filmmaker, Spike Lee, um, all these people. Okay. So thank you for letting us make that announcement. I love it. All right, be sure, go to our social media, check out Lonnie's. Get it. So I love when people say, gosh, I want to be so-and-so, mm -hmm. or I wish. Here's your chance to not just talk about it. It's your chance to be, be about, about it. it. Get your submissions in. Get your mm -hmm. submissions in. Um, you have been so busy. You, you, the reel ended in 2022. Yes. You have not taken a break. No. I saw you on the red carpet for the Grammys, the after party. You look stunning. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my I... gosh. <laughs> oh, listen. Yes. Um, yes. I now, I now work for CB, um, CBS, NBC, and I work for E. Yeah. So I'm doing their whole award show. This uh, Sunday, I'll be doing the People's the Choice. The SAG Awards as and well. And then the SAG Awards. Wow. Is next. It's because of the strike, everything is pushed together yeah. as far as award season. So every week, I'm doing some type of award show. I'm either on the red carpet or I'm on a panel. Right. So thank you for that. I this Sunday, that. People's Choice. Listen. 
You have always radiated just love. I, I think our very first time actually sitting down and talking was at the Essence Festival yes. a few years ago. 2019. 2019. And I've watched you on this health journey as well. Oh, yes, Because Lord. you talked about... <laughs> You've been on a health journey. You had surgery. Yes, Lord. Well, gallbladder removed in January. Yes, they removed my gallbladder. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ooh, what's happening? Because I had all this pain, you know? And so I went to the emergency. They wouldn't let me out. They was like, no, 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 we got to take that gallbladder out. I'm like, Lord, Lord, why? <laughs> and, you know, and, and the minute I went in, I went into the operating room. I make everybody pray. I make the doctor, everybody stop. <laughs> For one minute. We gonna say this prayer, you know? Whether you believe or not, you gonna do something. We gonna have some good vibes. And when I came out of it, I felt so good that I wanted to give a little short video to my followers oh, about I think the we importance have of health. Let's play it. There we go. Make sure that you check your health. Go to the doctor, check your numbers, you know, get your blood work done because without your health, you are just as broke as if you ain't got nothing in your bank account. Health is wealth. Now, you can tell. I, j I just came out of surgery. I had yeah. the head wrap. I, <laughs> I looked a mess, and I didn't think nobody would... You know, it was just for my followers. Yeah. People Magazine picked it up. Lonnie lost her gallbladder. <laughs> I was like, oh, I would have... Next time, I'm gonna look a little bit better <laughs> when I get out of surgery. I'm like, oh, goodness. Yeah, but it's important. Right. Okay, so we're gonna go to a break, but before we do... You have brought your Valentine's date with you to the Tamron Hall Show. Um, Lonnie and James have... Okay, oh, oh. We smash it! Okay, you know what? <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> this... <laughs> This is a daytime show over oh, here. Oh, 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 I forgot. <laughs> okay. This is not nighttime. It's daytime. It's daytime. Listen, I... We will be making love. 